Oh, you may even have enough time for me to go back to my office, bring for plain paper and have you derive it right now in the last 20 minutes for this class. Can you do that? You just study, right? So you probably can do that easily. I'm going to maybe do that later in the test. Is that better? Maybe this will be too quick. Okay, strength five floor, you get this equation. Let's check with equation, combined momentum equation, in Petal Doubler. Are they identical? Look at page 65. Yes, if you don't have the book, you should sit with your friend and have the book. Okay. So when you look at page 65, I have this term, tau WG, SGAG, positive sign, minus tau WL, SLAL, tau i, 1 over al plus ag minus something. Okay, let's go back. So in this case, I did the same. Tau wg become tau core, right? And I have alpha over here, 1 minus hltv. They are the same. So this means it is correct. Alright, if it is the same, then it's correct. Analog flow. What is analog flow, by the way? It just says some kind of stratified flow, but you know what? Film length is infinity, and weighted ball fraction is everywhere. So SC becomes zero. What is SC? the dry part, right? If you look at this picture, SC, tau C, that is momentum or force on the top part. So SC is that curve on the top part. If SC becomes zero, LF go to infinity, that is analog flow equation. Is that equation going to be the same as our S model? Did you check which page number to check? Let's check it. <coughs> I look at page 160, equation 4.81, minus WLSLAF. Okay, instead of AF, this one I have AP, HLTB. Okay. So HLTB here doesn't mean hole up in the film zone. I mean it's liquid hole up in the angular part. Alright. The rest is exactly the same. So this means Jack Unified Model Combined Momentum Equation work for three flow pattern simultaneously. Slug flow, stratified flow, analog flow. What if you want to use it with something else? Like this bubble, bubble flow. Is it gonna work? Oh, it doesn't work. What do we do? Vector. It feed the this case the LF well should be zero but that makes the equation Oh uh, you multiply the whole thing with LF first. So you have LF, 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 LF. Over that, right? Mm -hmm. <coughs> but this combined momentum equation and you set LF to be zero. It becomes what? Just pick up red. It goes to, it, it, it's just this part just left. It's not an equation that you can work with. Okay. It's, it's like mass balance. We go back to mass balance. <clears throat> Alright, at least it worked for right now for three of these. Actually, there's a way to do for the case of uh, 
uh, this bubble will flow, but let's take a look at this first. So we have combined equation for three cases within just one. Okay. The equation that you should be able to derive with your sheet sheet, of course, is this one. Okay. Good for the benefit of students who I will check, okay, I know that the, the slide is here and I know that you will copy from here to there, but I want to know if you actually skip or anything, or you actually understand it to derive this equation. All right, once we have all those equations, what do we do? It's one equation, one unknown in the, in the form of H or something. That's how they solve it. So we need the expression. Tau F, that is the expression. Tau core, tau I, so this part is the same as the one that we, we did it already, right? In our best model, in Titan Dracula. Uh, just stress on the wall, FC, use plus this type equation. Nothing new. Okay. What do they do for this bubble flow? If they find out that it is this bubble flow, <coughs> They use homogeneous no slip model. Okay. You may notice that we didn't go into like very detail how do they like find the flow pattern. No, we didn't do that. We just go to the <coughs> combined momentum equation and then we stop. What did Taito Douglas do to to do the flow pattern? Have combined momentum equation, calculate x, calculate y, determine edge. Use tangent A, tangent B, tangent C, or something like that, right? This thing, I didn't get into that detail. Those detail is for later study, maybe multiphase flow two or something. All right, this is quite a lot already. Don't you think so? All right, so we just showed the combined momentum equation. Once they determine flow pattern, which we didn't talk about it, then they will solve it for this bubble flow. They have this, this bubble rise velocity. Okay. <clears throat> the discussion in the unified model say, okay, the discontinuity in liquid hoa pressure drop may exist at the boundary due to the difference in bubble rise velocity. They mentioned that okay, we may need more development for the continuous chance of V0 infinity or something. So their their model at that time is uh, we have newer paper, but we didn't cover it, okay? At that time, it is this. Closure relationship, they have Fi, in the pressure friction factor, vector ball fraction, closure relationship, entrainment fraction, F sub E, in the case that it's like uh, analog flow. So it is, it's a combine between ours, uh, Tidal Doubler, and Tadobani, right? Stratified model, they calculate like stratified model, but they use different kind of F sub i. So several paper, mechanistic model do it like this. Have their own combined momentum equation, but have closure relationship for some small part that they don't know how to calculate it, okay? F sub i, for stratified model, they recommend this formula, and it draws Henranti, Analog flow, F sub i use Ambrosini. This is quite a bit, okay? Maybe quite a lot, but that's how F sub i can be calculated. So if you look at this, you see that, hey, they didn't really use the capital I equal to 1 plus 300 something, right? They didn't use that form. So they, they use other form. They use whatever they think allow the best fit to the data that they have, okay? Another crucial relationship is vector ball fraction, okay? Or, or no, interface parameter S sub i, so this is how they calculate F sub i. We don't go into detail, but okay, I just give you expression, show you some idea. And they have vector ball fraction correlation, okay, vector ball fraction capital theta, is that capital theta is defined as here, SF over pi D or something. Okay. SF is this. Whenever vector ball fraction 
approach everywhere. Oh, okay, approach one. This mean is angular flow. And that's a closure relationship to calculate vector ball fraction. We had they have they use the one that everyone use. Nicklin Mendelson for VTB. Slug name may be a little bit new. They didn't use 30 diameter, rather they use this. What does it mean? Theta equal to zero. Ls over d is 32, it's not 30. 90 degree upward. This term gone, then it is 16 diameter. Okay? That's how they do it. Uh, <clears throat> They have modified demand equation for f sub e entrainment fraction. For stratified and analog flow, they use this expression for VSI VSC, the same one that we already have. So once, <coughs> this is actually quite the same as our best model. So once they have everything, okay, they have that, they select several parts from other people to calculate this and that. So this is HLRS. This is the way that they calculate HLRS. It's, it's a combined momentum equation plus a bunch of closure relationship. Okay? They can do three flow pattern. Bubble, this is bubble flow. Intermittent flow, separated flow. So, <clears throat> okay, the way that they do it, in that model, they have RFU, which is a ratio between LF over LU. So when this ratio become one, when this ratio become one, we have transition to stratified or analog flow. When this ratio becomes zero, we have this bubble flow or bubble flow. All right, how do they do this? No, we didn't cover that. This is just give you some idea for you to do further reading. What's the objective of this? Trying to find model or what is the expectation from your side? Expectation from your side is you can do this equation. Okay? Clear? Enough? So that when you read Dr. Zhang paper, you don't get confused too much. Alright. That's the model prediction. They said R if you go to point oh one, get the line. Set I F you equal to point nine nine nine, get another line. And say, hey, is this is this good enough for us? Maybe can tell them to tell more, right? Tell them to didn't combine stratify and analog, but this model combines stratify and analog together. Is it? So this line, let's go back. RF you equal to one. Stratify or analog flow. So it is combined together as a segregated flow. Right? It doesn't tell if it's stratified or it's analog. Stratify is just analog flow that has weighted ball fraction parameter is not one, just that. Okay, and have entrainment. So it's kind of unified. They show the comparison with several cases. Guess what? It match. Okay, everyone show that it match. Okay. We have zero degree case, minus five, minus twenty, minus thirty, minus fifty, blah 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 blah. This match for every case. Double flow, comparison against Bunny model, okay. Compare against Choham data. Compare against Choham upper flow. So basically they compare many, many cases. Do okay. Error analysis minus DPDL of this versus that is stay on 45 degree line. What I want you to look at this line is this. <coughs> you see the DPDC uh, Pascal per cubic meter. What's Pascal per cubic meter? <coughs> Mm. Yeah, every time it's half cubic meter, I don't know for sure, but the range is 2,000, 4,000 something. Okay. I think maybe it's per cross section area too. Pressure gradient. Okay, I could have seen something. So, this unit, you will pay attention when you 
try to do something similar to them. Because some students say, I did not get the same thing when I do that. Of course, you didn't use the same unit. Okay, we have to do exactly the same thing. All right, the prediction equal to the measurement plus, no, it's not plus, 15%, but we can have like 80 degree of something debate a lot sometimes. All right, but what they found is it is a significant improvement over by the unified model. Okay, significant improvement. Monetary is in that paper. Your task is to get the combined momentum equation. And of the course, we have 20 minutes left. Let me take some time to talk about the that slug floor. No, I don't talk about the exam. I talk about the slug floor. Do you want to hear the slug floor? You can leave now, I don't mind. <laughs> the exam is going to be about calculate pressure drop in the pipe or in the ball. So downward minus 90 degree, that's fair. Upward 90 degree, fair. 45 degree, minus 45 degree, those fair. Determine the flow pattern. Hey, by transition, unify transition F, creaming process and bubble accumulation. Is this this bubble flow or not? You got to be able to do that. Okay. Existing of transition E. I have to show some proof that you know something. What do I need you to know is flow pattern transition. Okay, calculation. Pressure drop, calculation. Momentum balance, derivation. That's it, that's just, that's just three of them. The rest may be unseen problem. But if you ever seen any unseen problem, do it last. Don't, don't try to do it first, okay? Anything that is straightforward, like, okay, calculate pressure drop for the case of stratified flow. Calculate pressure drop for slab flow. Calculate pressure drop of analog flow. It may have lengthy equation, but do that first, because it's step by step, right? Step one, two, three, do, just, just do that, it'll be correct. The part that if you miss, it costs you a lot of points is, if it is, Mm, laminar flow, you say turbulent. If it is turbulent, you say laminar. That's, don't, don't miss that. So when it keep the unit conversion, do you need to prepare for that? Yes, it's your responsibility. You need to be able to, because all of this, the flow pattern, transition, everything is in SI. But in the industry, we use few unit, right? And we have the flow rate of 1 mm SCFD or 1 million static cubic foot per day. How much is that at the flowing condition? I didn't talk about that. Do you need to know that? Yeah. It's not my job. Oh, maybe it's just one question. If I have in situ condition of that is actually already in this book, the way to calculate that. Do you need to write your own R number? Yes. Otherwise, how can you do that? What is VSG? Okay, let's say I have 1,000 barrel per day of liquid. I have half a million standard cubic feet per day. And standard, standard condition is 68 Fahrenheit and 14.65 PSIA. How much is VSG? I, I don't have our value. I told you today to write it down. You didn't. So that, that's your fault. Okay. <laughs> so you need R value. You need conversion. How do I convert from barrel per day to VSL? Meter per second. How do I do that? You must have the error. Uh, you, need, you, need a, you need to know, okay, how many barrel could you want to be meter or something? You don't have, you, you don't have that conversion factor? Not my fault, you don't write it in. That's why you have to teach it. Previous year, information sheet, have it. But this year, I don't put it down. No, you write it down so that you learn something. Because I can have the reason to give easier exam. The reason that I can give you a little bit easier is not going to be easy. Easier exam because you do your part 
I see your paper. Hey, you work, you write, you did conversion, you can do easy question. You see what I'm saying? Even you have a BSD, it can be problematic. Yeah, the one that you did in the lab, right? I tell you, stand like a big foot, you can put a BSD. Look at the flow pattern map, tell me what is the flow pattern? As easy as that, can you use the flow pattern? If you didn't use a um, uh, heat transfer, oh, no problem. Calculate temperature by using pseudo single phase, but calculate pressure drop by using slump flow. Calculate three, two step. Separate the subsea pipeline into two sections. Section one, temperature equal to 50 Fahrenheit. Section two, 40 Fahrenheit. Add them together. Can you do that? Maybe that's a little bit more difficult. But it, it can be done. Exam is comprehensive. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> what I have learned is, okay, the difficult course, there's more tendency for students to cheat. So I, I don't want you to cheat, so you have no book, okay? And if you, if you cannot finish every of them on time, don't worry about it. But if everyone else finish, but you don't, yeah, that's the time that you worry about it, okay? The exam is not going to be difficult, at least for me, okay? Question? Chart will be given. What chart will be given? You remember analog flow thing, the comprehensive one, that line that will be given. Stratified S shape curve, X capital S capital Y, that will be given. R value will not be given. There are several R value that you can use. 8,300 something or 10.4 something, 10.3 something. Use the right one. Okay. So typically you have to be able to get VSG if it is a few unit. Okay. Or uh, if I tell you standard condition, standard condition is not the same as in situ condition. We didn't talk about it in this class. But I thought you know. But yes, question. For example, in that case that we have to compare to the uh, actual pressure uh, temperature. Easy to, yeah. Uh, in most of the samples, sometimes we only calculate the pressure drop, but not the pressure. So we need to know the, the initial pressure somehow, or? <coughs> there will be some approximation. This is because if I, if I tell you butter per day and start to be food per day, when you convert those things into in situ condition, I mean 2000 PSI, 120 Fahrenheit, when you do that conversion, it's going to be wrong anyway. Because what? You cannot take into account phase change. There's a phase change between liquid and gas phase, right? But what you can do is you just trim that. I didn't give you, okay, I give you BO, BW, those things. I have to go over that if I want you to do that, that detail. See what I'm saying? But in the first approximation, you should be able to do that. Just shrink the volume as standard condition to the pipe condition and assume that there's no phase change. You've got to be able to do that. The one with phase change, they cover in the reservoir and production, hopefully. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Inch to meter, inch to centimeter, you need that. Okay. You know how many? One centimeter or one inch equal to how many meter? Two. 0.0254 or something, you need that number. Okay. Density conversion, you may write it if you want to. <coughs> but I put it, oh, what is the field unit for density? Gallon, right? Power per gallon, can you get that in kilogram per cubic meter? Okay, just, just, you just have to prepare for it. Okay, your calculator. Okay. Uh, 
it is very more likely than not that you will have to do this equation derivation. Just write it down in your sheet sheet. Okay? Where else I'm gonna take ask you? Elvis model, call it in your calculator. Okay? Because it's very straightforward, right? The way that you calculate capital S, capital Y, there's some VS, LVSG, call it in your calculator so that you don't miss it. Fleet property, then you can calculate it. Geometric relationship. Do you need geometric relationship in, in analog flow? Yes, there are a bunch of equations for that, and it's very likely to have analog flow in the exam. If not, analog flow will be slug flow. And look, you have how much? Two and a half hours, right? You can easily have five questions. Each question for half an hour. Okay. This means, okay, stratified flow, elongated bubble flow. Oh, can you do elongated bubble flow? Oh, you cannot? Can you do elongated bubble flow? How do you do elongated bubble flow? This way down, slug flow without picker. You may do slug flow without pickup rate. Okay? You may do slug flow without <coughs> HLLS. Whatever it is, when you go this far, you have to be able to give me reasonable approximation. Okay. Question, question? No question? No question? Uh, uh, yes. There are some, some closer relationships for, that's for example, uh, HLS. For stratified flow, closure relationship that you need is for F sub i. F sub i equal to some constant or F sub i equal to some other thing. One of that will work. Okay. I don't mind if you use any of that. Okay. Because but you have to use, if you use a closure relationship for slug frequency, for individual frequency factor, nah, I don't mind about that. There will be several closure relationship. You will need HLLS. V0 infinity, VTB, okay, LS, slug frequency, okay, and you will need to, if possible, pre-program it in your calculator. It doesn't take much time. Plus, this week you don't have homework. Prepare it just for six hours. So we have five. Let's say we have five questions. Each question for half an hour. What do you want to have? Analog flow or pressure drop, slug flow or pressure drop, straight fire flow or pressure drop, mm. bubble flow or pressure drop, and the last one may be transition. Oh, yeah, 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 Chang'e 5 model. Or I may drop elongated bubble, uh, I may drop uh, like um, bubble flow, but change it to flow pattern calculation. Flow pattern calculation. I pick one point, tell you VSR, VSG, tell you the angle, I ask you what is the flow pattern. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. You get 20 points. <laughs> there are another four questions to do. So make sure that you can calculate pressure drop within half an hour. Alright? Practice if you need to. Um, <clears throat> and review the rule in the um, syllabus. Homework, you have to submit it today, right? Tonight. It's due tonight. No. It's not? It's not due tonight? It's Thursday. Thursday. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. It's Thursday, Thursday. Have you start? All right. It's very easy, okay? It's not difficult at all. <clears throat> no more question for me? Uh, oh, the bonus point is already posted. I think bonus point is not that difficult compared to the homework that you already did, but it has to be tidy. You have to clean it up. You cannot just show me Excel sheet with 10,000 number. I, I give you nothing. Okay, can you do that ever again? I don't understand. See, many, do I supposed to look at each cell and find out how you calculate it? Oh, okay, I'll do that for take home exam. I, for your bonus day, 
You're not going to get bonus. The description of the mode bonus file is given on the blackboard, right? Is a lot of detail. Read it, follow that. If you want to do it, you don't need to do it. It's due what? Next Wednesday. 12, which is uh, Wednesday after the exam. Or if you don't, cannot do the whole thing, maybe you do part of it or something. So we're going to, we have to do coding? Of course. Did you not read it? You can use other people code. If you use other people code, tell where they come from. You can use my code that I showed you in the homework statement. You can use my code from the Mnokometer class. You can use SciPy library, which you don't even need to do the code. But you need to get the right answer, and it should show an even spacing. That's the important thing. If you show me even spacing, nah. You remember the print profile? The print profile? You discretize more, when that change a lot, and you discretize less and less. It has to be even, uneven spacing. Okay. If you decide to do that, well, you don't have to do that. And if you miss a class one time and late one time, I think at most you can get A minus, right? Whether you do the bonus, you do everything, everything, get hundred days, get A minus. <coughs> but the result of the final we will know before the twelve, or uh, the result. When do you know the result of the final? I view. I don't think I'm gonna create it that soon. I typically I create it like the night before the grade submission day. Oh. <laughs> okay. The important thing for me is, of course, forty percent teaching, fifty percent, which is more than teaching, is that research I'm doing with you and you. Okay. Alright, no more questions? I hope you enjoyed this class. If you need more help on your calculator, on those kind of things about this course, you don't need to make an appointment, you just come see me. But if you want to come about your research, research, not this course, you have to make an appointment if you want to come for research. Okay? No, for research right now, we just come here. You meet on Thursday, or oh, Friday. <laughs> Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed this class. All right, and next year we will have numeral common thought with Python, maybe a simplified version. Uh, it's going to be a little bit um, very good to have you do coding. So this is quite difficult. It's like Calculate, calculate it and then we come You want to do that? Yes. Fall. In fall. I won't be around. Yes. <laughs> so if you fail and you want to take this class again, you have to wait for two years. All right, bye guys.